all in Pisces sun, Aquarius moons, welcome to your 2021 sun moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. When you view this is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. So make sure you check out your 2020 sun moon readings that are still in my playlist. I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments. Be sure to post yours up. First portion of this reading, we'll go the, over the traits of your sun moon combination. We'll take a quick look at your 2021. Second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will go into a deeper interpretation with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. Also check out my playlist for what is your ideal career based on your midheaven sign, what is your compatibility with your partner sun sign, which is a forever work in progress. Ask me a question on Insta, go check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to the traits of your sun moon combination. So Pisces, Sun, Aquarius, Moons. This combination is the perfect friend to everybody. Um, honest, kind, open, and sensitive, your company is always welcome. You're reliable, caring, and aware, but you can also be glum, dismissive, and rigid. Your biggest challenge is not allowing yourself to get overwhelmed by others' emotions. In relationships, you usually tend to have more than one romantic partner at a time. You do enjoy the company of others, but are independent and value your space. Your ideal mate is someone who has your back and is not possessive. In career, it's difficult for you to keep focus because you love to dream and escape to your own worlds. You may not feel like you fit in a workplace because your ideas tend to be so outside the box and colleagues don't always get where you're coming from. You achieve your goals by soliciting others' help with, with a goal you are totally absorbed with, or when it's a goal you're totally absorbed with. I hope that made sense. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Pisces, Sun, Aquarius, Moons. For 2021, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground? Become closer to the universe and closer to the divine through your messages. Any messages you have for Pisces, Sun, and Pisces, Moons would be greatly appreciated. And we thank you for 2021. What do you see? What do they need to know? What do you see for January, February, and March? We have the Sun card in the upright. What do you see for April, May, June? We have the Hermit card in reversed. What do you see for July, August, September? We have the Hierophant in the upright. And what do you see for October, November, December? We have the Six of Cups in the upright. Hmm. All right, so things are starting off really well in the beginning of the year. We have the Sun card in the upright, which is one of the best cards that you could actually have in the entire deck. Um, a lot of openness, a lot of warmth, a lot of radiance. You're going to be experiencing good health in the beginning of the year. Um, everything is just going exactly like you want it to go. You're probably going to be um, the most happy and enjoying life the most for the first three months of the year. I kind of got tripped up on my words here. A um, lot of optimism, a lot of positivity going on. Now, we get into, and I don't know, and maybe I'll find out what the segue is when I get into the clarifiers in the Vimeo, but we have the Hermit card here in reversed. And I'm not getting this as you. I feel like this is another person in April, May, June. And it might be a Virgo because that's the card of Virgo, but I'm getting that this person was with you here when everything was going great. You guys were, some of you, you might've even gone away like to a sunny place on a vacation with this person. And then in April, May, June, this person has changed things. So they've withdrawn. They've, um, they've withdrawn they've cut themselves off from you they're not talking to other people they might have like disappeared they might have ghosted you and other people um and i'm getting during this period of time you do not feel like this is a positive thing um and you're starting to feel them pull away and be like this they're harder and harder to get in touch with or get in contact with um whoever they might be so and I, this could be a romantic partnership because I'm seeing here the Hierophant in the upright, which is the card of Taurus. And what I'm getting for July, August, September is that um, 
I feel like you want to, you want some sort of commitment from this person because they're pulling away. And I feel like that's making you anxious. So you might be making suggestions of, hey, can we put a label on this? Can we make this more serious? Um, you know, move in together, um, get engaged. Can we move it in a direction where I know that it's, and that's very unlike you guys actually, but um, unless it's you guys pulling away, is it you guys pulling away? I wonder if it's you guys pulling away and withdrawing because things are getting too good and you pull away and withdraw and then this person, I think that's how it happens. So I'm, I'm, I'm going back on that. Because the minute I came to this, I was like, I don't know, I'm not feeling that you guys are doing this. And I feel like you're pulling away because you're not comfortable either because things are going way too well or this person is too into it or whatever. So you're doing this to kind of make space. But I don't think, I don't, I don't think, I think it, it worries the other person. So this person wants to commit or some type of commitment where they know it's just you and them in July, August, September. Now, that being said, this does not have to be a romantic reading. That I could also see this being a career reading where things are going really well, an employer is super positive, and they're making assumptions. Um, you know, like you're gonna be there forever, you're so, and you're not comfortable with that, so you're pulling away to create like a little bit of space, and they decide to come forward with something so that you remain more permanent. Whatever the situation is, I feel like here, somebody is trying to make sure that they can make you a fixture or that it's more permanent. Um, so it might be an offer involved with this, or it might be something that's gonna get you to stick around because here, the Six of Cups, I see a reconciliation and getting back together. So it's almost like you pulled away then they offered you something that was more solid that you couldn't refuse and now the two of you are back together again or you stay at this previous employment that you had because of how they wooed you. Um, but I'm definitely kind of getting that. So it wasn't you as other person, I apologize for that. So that's what I have for you. If this resonates, of course, consider a personal reading. Otherwise, make sure you click on the link below for the Vimeo reading. I'll be pulling these cards for a more in-depth interpretation of these cards. Also check out my playlist in there, your 2020 sun moon readings. What is your ideal career based on your mid heaven sign? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on instant go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, I will see you in the Vimeo portion. Adios from Veronica Garden. Gard <laughs> Veronica Garnet, not Garden. <laughs> see you later. Bye.